problem I have is that everybody feeds the basketball side of the undergraduates like they're all going to go set the world on fire in basketball. And just pure numbers. Everybody can't be a top 10 pick. Take the Harrison twins from Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Why are they leaving? I mean, is it really going to behoove their future to leave Kentucky after starting for two years and playing in two Final Fours to go get drafted in the second round if they even get drafted at all? What was the benefit to that? I mean, Jordan had been playing at a PGA Tour event since he was 16 years old and actually was in contention when he was 16 and a, and a, and a high school sophomore. He was actually in one of the last groups on the weekend of a tour event. So the idea that you're going to have 40-some-odd freshmen or sophomores or undergraduates leave for the draft when there are only 30 first-rounders, and if you get it late in the first round, you know now these days you're out to make in the roster or you know, start, start dropping dramatically percentage-wise by the pick. You get to the second round, yep. I've got to tell you, it's a rarity for a second rounder to make the NBA. No doubt. So what's the big hurry? Seven kids leave Kentucky. I would like to go back, you know, two or three years from now and pick up this conversation with you and see where those seven are. I look Was it a good move? Take Dakari Johnson from Kentucky. He played, uh, you know, in, uh, you know, as a backup, and he played in that game against Wisconsin that, you know, Kentucky lost for the only time this year. You wouldn't even know he was on the floor. I mean, he 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 played a few minutes, maybe blocked a shot. I'm not sure. <laughs> Nothing memorable. How is he going to go help an NBA team win? The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.